Good day, everyone. Good day. It is Tuesday, February 6, 2018. I'm David Gira. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Continuing with efficiency in the workplace. And I want to continue talking about those motivation killers. And there's a lot of them. It's not just the people. It's not just the employees or the coworkers. No, it actually could just be the leadership as a motivation killer. It could be that the leadership has an issue, the management has an issue showing appreciation, doesn't know how to exactly show that appreciation and appreciate the people working the front lines, the people answering the phones, the people walking through the door, even the customers, the clients. That's an issue. And when there's lack of appreciation, well, motivation tends to suffer because you start, the employees or those in the frontline staff start thinking, wow, I'm doing all this worse work, I'm busting my butt, I'm busting my ass, and I'm not getting recognized. Something's wrong. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm creating this, I'm creating that, I'm signing this, signing that, and still, not even, hey, thanks, good job, or hey, you're doing your job, or just, you're doing your job. Nothing, nothing's coming back. There's no appreciation. Folks, as leaders, you have to recognize that you have to appreciate the people that work for you and work with you. Because if you don't, they're going to see that, hey, what's in it for me? Nothing. These people don't care. All they want is production and they want to get the bonuses. They want to get the big fat paychecks. They don't want to acknowledge that, hey, What's the frontline staff that's doing it? And folks, it's the 21st century, but yet it still goes on. There's still stuff like that happening right now. There are people out there that are in it for themselves, running major corporations, running small businesses, and again, feel like the employees owe them something. They come in with this 1970s, 1960s, 1950s mindset of, well, I've given them a job. No, sir. No, ma'am. No. Stop right there. That's not what it's about. They chose you. They applied to come to work for you. Nobody's, nobody comes in with a gun to their head and says, I need to work here because I've got a gun to my head. No, no one does that. It's, this is the 21st century. It's not like that. Sure, there's people that need to go to work. There's people that have to work. I get that. I understand it. But that doesn't mean you treat them with disrespect or you show no appreciation for them. Folks, Appreciate your staff. Show them just a simple pat on the back or or a thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. I wish you a great weekend. Thank you very much. Great job today. You handled all those calls. You knocked them out of the ballpark. Great job. Hey, you did what you said you were going to do, but you did it in record time. So what did you do? You over-delivered because you under-promised. That's a uh, Star Trek reference right there. The original series, not the new generation. The engineer, whenever he said, oh, it's going to take about six days, it actually was six hours. Because he knew what he was doing. He needed that extra time, but when he got it done in less than six days, he was a miracle worker. And folks, those are the kind of people you need in your business. Miracle workers. And guess what? You have them already. Show them and appreciate them. I'm Dave Guerra. Today is Tuesday, February 6, 2018. I'll talk to you tomorrow.